Hello, and welcome to Popcorn News, something to watch while you eat popcorn. Do not try to comprehend it all. Nay, just eat the popcorn. The year was 2007. The month was June. June 2007. It was one of the most chilling plots imaginable, said U.S. Attorney Roslyn R. Moskov. A suspected Muslim terrorist cell allegedly planned to blow up John F. Kennedy International Airport, its fuel tanks, and a jet fuel artery. Luckily, the authorities announced on Saturday, June 2, 2007 that they had broken up the suspected terrorist cell and arrested three men. In jail for her antics, Paris Hilton released a statement saying she was, quote, learning and growing, unquote, from her time behind bars. Maybe this will mark the end of the Paris Hilton fascination, commented Leslie Baldacci of the Chicago Sun-Times on June 10th. Befuddled NASA scientists were wondering why Saturn had an enormous six-sided cloud formation hovering above its gaseous North Pole, reported the Washington Post around June 11, 2007. Quote, the weird hexagonal feature 15,000 miles across and unlike anything ever spotted in space, was first photographed by the twin Voyager spacecraft more than two decades ago, reported Rick Weiss, and it was still there in June 2007. Was it the handiwork of giant alien bees? In Washington, D.C., a Victims of Communism memorial opened. The memorial is tiny, reported Philip Kennecott of the Washington Post on June 13th. 2007, even though the victims of communism number in the millions, it is a 10-foot bronze statue with no particular artistic interest set upon a stubby round stone support. U.S. home foreclosure filings had soared 90% in May from a year earlier reported Bloomberg on June 13th. This jump in foreclosures happened at a time of year that traditionally is the busiest for home sales. Britain's independent newspaper reported on June 14th, 2007 on how scientists were, quote, warning that the end of oil is coming sooner than governments and oil companies are prepared to admit, end quote. Scientists led by the London-based Oil Depletion Analysis Center said that global production of oil was set to peak in the next four years before entering a steepening decline, quote, which will have massive consequences for the world economy and the way that we live our lives, end quote. June 15th, Associated Press reported how former U.S. House Speaker Newt Gingrich said that an immigration bill resurrected by the U.S. Senate was a monstrosity that was, quote, fundamentally dishonest, 
and impossible to implement, end quote. Complained Gingrich, quote, the problem here is not illegal immigration, it's American employers who willfully refuse to enforce the law, end quote. Right-wing conservatives had been able to, to torpedo the legislation, and Senator Trent Lott charged that talk radio is running America. On June 19th, New Kerala, apparently a Hindu publication, reported that the inquest into the death of Diana, Princess of Wales, had been thrown into a spin by evidence that driver Henry Paul was not drunk at the time the fatal crash took place. New coroner of the inquest, Lord Justice Scott Baker, acknowledged that there were, quote, serious question marks, end quote, about whether or not Henry Paul was drunk. On June 26, 2007, Venezuelan President Hugo Chavez forced ExxonMobil and ConocoPhillips, two of the largest U.S. companies, out of Venezuela's oil fields in a nationalization drive. I'm concerned said U.S. Energy Secretary Sam Badman, quoted in a Reuters report by Brian Ellsworth, dated June 27th. In a press release dated June 26, 2007, the Central Intelligence Agency announced declassification of a collection of documents nicknamed Family Jewels. These Family Jewels consisted of almost 700 pages compiled in 1973 under Director of Central Intelligence James Schlesinger, who had asked CIA employees to report activities they thought might be inconsistent with the agency's charter. The declassified documents were reported to be available online at www.foia.cia.gov.